Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jogwe, I'm back with another quick tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the Perception Neuron Studio suit, right? And the updated uh, Neuron Live Link plugin that has been updated uh, to work with the, the DAS 3D. So we're going to be using DAS Studio, okay? To send an animation, uh, uh, sorry, send an, a character from that uh, purchased from the DAS 3D marketplace into the Unreal Engine and then add mockup data uh, using the most the neuron live link <laughs> plugin. Okay, all right, let me see if I can say that again. We're going to be using the perception neuron suit, right? And we're going to send mockup data from Access Studio using the perception neuron studio using the Neuron Live Link to send a character from DAS 3D into the Unreal Engine via the DAS to Unreal Bridge. Okay, there I said it. <laughs> it's a little of a, of a mouthful, but essentially uh, the idea is to create a story around this planet, right? So I got this uh, from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. I don't want to duplicate that. Just wanted to rotate around it. Okay, so I, I saw this uh, scene, and for me, I'm always thinking about how can I make a story, you know, from such a cool environment. And uh, this is a, a cool thing. I, like, if you are an, an indie filmmaker and you're just starting out and you don't model your own, you, can't, you don't have time to model, but you have a story, this is a great way to bring a short film to life. You go to the to Unreal Engine Marketplace, purchase an environment that's already set up and then go to does to uh, does 3d right and get a model from there a character and then use your perception around studio suit to then send it to the unreal engine that is the idea so i have this model that i've already imported and if i bring up does studio you can see the character here and let me i'm gonna turn on iRay real quick so you get a sense of and see what it looks like let's go to nvidia iRay it looks really good <laughs> by the way <laughs> so here's the character right and it's using this uh space suit uh, called uege8m uh it's actually if you go back to the figures over here it's the g8m uh limit on wardrobe right there okay and so this is what we want to bring into the Unreal Engine and use uh, the character to tell a story. Because in most cases, when you have uh, like a whole library of DAS 3D models, you may not have access to the animation itself. But if you have a motion capture suit, then you can create custom animation. Then, then you can use to drive this particular character. All right. And let me go ahead and power up Access Studio. All right. So this is Access Studio. And let me bring up one of my sessions. Uh, let me see which one can I use. Take six. Is this the right one? Yes, this is perfect. So the space, uh, the astronaut is in space and he's wondering what's going on. He looks around. This is uh, an animation that I acted out. And actually, let me rotate around it so you can see it. So he's curious, where am I? You know, he's looking at his hands and like, how did I end up here? Right, so this is perfect. So we'll go to uh, the starting point. That's me grabbing the mouse during the capture session. So I'll start like right here. Okay, so we trim that. And then we go to like maybe right there. Okay, so this could be anything that you've captured using the perception on suit. And the data looks great. As you can see, it looks very stable. Very, very good. The fingers look great. Okay. And so before you send even this to the Unreal Engine, uh, first of all, in the settings, make sure you go to settings over here, go to broadcasting. If you've already captured, so make sure you turn off the capture because now we're going to be in BVH edit mode. Make sure edit is on. And make sure you select the UE mannequin over here. And make sure displacement is not checked and neither is uh, use old header. So what you see here is try to replicate that. 
and use uh, UDP, which is a local address in that port. Okay, click OK. And make sure you turn on loop over here. So we're gonna be able to preview while this is playing back. Okay, so I'll just keep this playing in the background because now it's transmitting the data, it's broadcasting the data. And over here in the Unreal Engine, make sure you go to your settings, go to plugins. One of the plugins that we're gonna need is definitely the Dust to Unreal plugin. That's how I was able to bring in that character, right? And actually you can see over here it says Dust to Unreal. I was able to use the Dust to Unreal plugin and the version I'm using is a 2022.1.17.21.17. And uh, this was originally made by David Vodahan, Vodanel, sorry, David Vodanel. And it was purchased by Dust 3D and now it's part of the Dust 3D ecosystem. You can go online and see some of how some way of, I mean some instructions on how to set it up and I've actually created some previous tutorials uh, showing how I was able to you can set it up. All right make sure that's installed and also make sure the neuron live link plugin is also installed and I'm using using version 1.2.0.2 at least what's, that's what's showing up here. All right so if you're not if these are not enabled it's probably ask you to restart your project which you should. All right, so they, those are the key projects. And I have set my project to, to render with Lumen. So it looks like I have to rebuild some of my lighting, maybe just one light, but that's okay. That's very quick. So I've sent this over here. And the process of this is I go to Dust Studio over here. I make sure iRay is not running, it's just a smooth shaded. Select the model from over on the right-hand side over here. Go to File send to Dust to Unreal, okay? And then make sure that uh, you export morphs, bake subdivisions if you want the models to look smooth. And also you can check advanced settings in here. If you don't have the plugin installed, you can actually install it from here, indicate where you need to put it, but make sure you know the path where your engine is located because the moment you click on install plugin, it's gonna ask you for that, all right? And also for me, I make sure I show dialog box because then that enables me to ch check and make sure that the, the morphs are exporting correctly and by default it's going to put it in your uh, does like your documents make sure you uh, make sure you put a link to the folder that has a lot of space and then you can empty that later on okay and then click accept and then it's going to go through and export the model go through the uh, the dialog the, the fbx dialog and then when you're done, then you go to the Unreal Engine and it will show you the process as it's going through. It doesn't take very long, uh, depending on the model. If the model is very detailed, then it's going to take a, a lengthy, I don't know, a fairly long time if you have like a whole bunch of things in there. But right now, we just have a simple character with a suit and that's what we have. So once it's successfully imported, uh, there may be a dialog box that pops up with some errors, but you may need to, you can ignore that part as long as the models import correctly, okay? So let's go to the Unreal Engine. This is our model right here. So this, this is the skeletal mesh. If I double click on it, we can actually take a look at the model itself. And it, let's expand this over here. You can see all the shaders have been brought in, okay? Like that. So now you notice that uh, the helmet might be missing. So those are some things that uh, sometimes, you know, some models are not compatible with the Unreal Engine. So just uh, be careful as you're exporting models that you actually check to make sure the model is compatible with the Unreal Engine. But for now, at least we have a helmet is gonna be <laughs> over here. Hopefully it's gonna be breathing. There's oxygen on this planet <laughs> since he doesn't have a, a helmet on. However, if you look at him, it looks like a, like a cyborg of some kind, you know, like his eyes have like nice sci-fi looking eyes, you know, so maybe he's not truly human. Maybe he doesn't need to breathe <laughs> oxygen, <laughs> but that's the story, okay? And there's this suit, okay. So the first step that you do when you're ready to uh, make sh this work with a Perception Neural Studio, because right now the data is being sent, but we have to go to window over here, go to virtual production, make sure live link is running. If it's not, make sure it is. 
Click on source over here, go to access neuron and click okay. So awesome, that green light is so pleasant because it means that the data is being streamed in. So this can be put in the background. So right now we are actually receiving data from uh, access studio and it's coming into the Unreal Engine using live link, okay? So the next stage is for us to connect this character to work with uh, the, the data that's coming in. So first, let's first uh, let's go ahead and drag and drop this character here. And he looks like he's to scale. We'll put him right there. Let's uh, press F to focus on him. Our astronaut has arrived. <laughs> he's definitely breathing air. I have to, uh, I'll check, I, I'll, I think I'll do some research and see why the helmet didn't come through, but already he's looking great. The suit is in here. And look how nice the blue works very well. By the way, in Daz Studio over here, if you go to materials, they are all different kinds. But there's red, orange, and green, and blue. So for me, I picked the blue suit because it works with this environment, which looks really, really cool. So he looks like he's just be he belongs. Okay. So to make the animation work, right click on the skeletal mesh itself go to create, create anim blueprint, okay? And this is gonna be essen uh, essential to making sure the data is, is applied to this model. All right, double click on it. And right click here in the editor and look for type live link, pause, that's what you need. Okay, let's organize this a tiny bit. And then drag and connect that over there and make sure you select your character that is trimming and compile. Okay, so by default, you're gonna see that his head is there moving, but that's because this particular live link is not using the correct uh, retarget source. And this is the beauty of the update is that once you drop down this list right here, guess what? you have a uh, new DAS 3D Live Link remap asset. So we click on the first one and then compile and the magic happens. <laughs> so our character is now using the blueprint and he's working with a perception on suit. You can get the clouds over there. And you can always hide the geometry for the fingers if it's popping through right there. So there's a little things that you can edit, but clearly you can see him is rubbing his eyes and go ahead and save this because going forward, any model that you bring in from uh, the, uh, the from DAS 3D is gonna be able to work with that remap asset right there. So just go ahead and uh, minimize this. And now this right here needs to be using that blueprint. This is the Genesis animation blueprint, right? So we need to assign that Genesis eight base skeleton animation blueprint five. So you see in number five, but that's because I did some testing before. So go back to our character over here in the viewport and select Genesis. Let's see if I can move it over here. Scale this a tiny bit. All right, so select the blueprint that we need, which is gonna be Anim5 blueprint. There we go. <laughs> and right now it's not doing anything like in real time, but that's because we haven't uh, turn, uh, like added the blueprint, the, the live link. So let's go back to uh, select this model right here. And we're gonna add a uh, live link skeletal animation and uh, there it is and it's working nicely so guys that's how you drive a das 3d character with mock-up data from the perception neuron studio suit from axis and you can see it working properly over there and he's on this planet wondering where am i what has happened <laughs> and if we add a camera now as a, uh, let's go cinematic viewport 
uh, we want to add, uh, sorry, we want to add a cinematic camera here. And let's select our camera from the drop down over here. Let's focus on our model. Focused on the rock. <laughs> no, we want to focus on our astronaut over there. And let me see, I want to get the camera itself. And let's change some settings over here. The default setting is 11, but we want to make it like a 100 millimeter lens. And uh, let's zoom out. Ah, uh, well, maybe 100 is too much. Let's do 35 millimeter. Eek! <laughs> 15 millimeter. <laughs> okay. All right. And let's focus on that. And let's select our camera again. Turn on debug. We we'll select uh, this right here. Sorry, camera. Okay. Turn that off, and it's in. He's in focus now. So now we can rotate around him. And if we want now, we can crank up. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah like 1.2. So and there you have a scene in the Unreal Engine of this uh, astronaut using the Perception Neural Studio right there. The, it's actually coming in streaming in live right now. We don't have a helmet, but because I, <laughs> I have to figure out what happened to the helmet and see if I, I can fix that. But clearly it's working properly. And uh, there's some issues that I, I noticed that they are uh, for the Noitum team tell, tells me they're gonna fix. So for example, they fit down here. I noticed that if I go to Axis Studio and I go to settings and under broadcasting and I set this to displacement, click okay. So it's very stable, right? The feet are very stable, but then they get smushed. So they are working on a solution for that because that means we're gonna get be able to get stable data. So for now, we're gonna be sticking to under settings, VH broadcasting, and it's gonna turn off displacement for now. Click OK, and then we'll bring our character back up at the top. All right. So guys, I hope this was helpful. Again, uh, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute. Uh, to hit subscribe over here, subscribe to my channel. And if you, uh, once you've hit the subscri subscription button, make sure you try, <laughs> please click the notification bell so you're alerted when you <laughs> when I post a new video or a new tutorial. And uh, so th thank you so much to my patrons. Uh, do please consider becoming a patron to support me on this journey. But thank you so much for your support, guys. And I'm always, always on the lookout to see how we, I can help you, uh, you know, make bring your stories to life using the tools that are on the market right now. So this live link has been updated and it has a new, uh, a cool Dust 3D uh, asset that you can use to drive, you know, an avatar that's from Dust 3D into the Unreal Engine. And as you can tell, here it is working properly and we can click out of that. So you can see the idea, as I always say, guys, is that when you see an, a cool environment, uh, see how you can, use it to tell a story and clearly now we have a story in the making we can make a short film out of this that is so cool again thank you so much for joining me today guys uh, please stay safe as always dare to dream big never give up on your dream guys and uh always always father uh, extend kindness be gracious and as when you learn something share with others and that's my uh, motto is that whenever i learn something new I'm always looking for how to help others uh, figure out to share in the same skill set and also tips and tricks so that we can tell our stories and bring them to life, okay? We're in this together. Please stay safe and I will continue to pray for you guys. Much love and bye for now.